In this video, let's do an application where we use integration to solve a differential equation. And this type of application will be familiar to you. It's basically always presented in calculus. The example I am referring to is the relationship between acceleration, velocity, and position. The acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. The velocity is the derivative of the position. Let's look at this specific example. A lunar lander is falling freely toward the surface of the moon at a speed of 450 meters per second. Its retrorockets, when fired, provide constant deceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared. This is combining acceleration or deceleration due to the retro rockets and acceleration due to Earth's, the moon's gravity. At what height should retro rockets be fired for a soft touchdown? That occurs if V, the velocity, equals zero at the moment of impact. And the statement I made that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity is a little differential equation. And it's a differential equation of the form we've just said and seen can be solved using integration. Here, A is constant. A acceleration is a two point Five. Positive 2.5, which might initially be a little confusing. I mean, I use the word decelerate here. The key to making sense of this is that although the speed is 450 meters per second, the velocity is negative 450 meters per second. And if the velocity is going from negative 450 meters per second up to zero, the velocity is increasing. And if the velocity is increasing, acceleration is positive. So what is the velocity function? We can find it using integration. Or rather, we can find an infinite class of velocity functions using acceleration at, you cannot see what I'm writing, at time zero when the rocket fired. Well, we've got a constant speed of 450 and a constant velocity 
of negative 450. So this is an initial condition. When time is zero, velocity is negative 450. And putting those together, we now go from an infinite class of velocity functions to the single velocity function we actually want. Now we'll repeat this process. Um, the velocity is the derivative of the height function. Most traditionally represented by an S from a German word, um, streck, I think. The derivative of the height with respect to time is the velocity. And we know what this velocity is. 2.5 t minus 450. solve this or partially solve this using integration. Partially because there is going to be a constant that we'll need to solve for. Probably, I would think, the hardest part of the problem is figuring out how to use or how to find this D. Because they're not given an explicit initial condition involving S, rather the initial height is what you're trying to find. Let's investigate this idea of a soft touchdown. We want V to be zero at the moment of impact. V is 2.5 t minus 450. So when is V equal to zero? Well, we set the velocity function equal to zero. And we get t equals 180 is our moment when the velocity equals zero. And the moment that the velocity equals zero is also supposed to be the moment when the height is zero. So we'll plug height equals zero and t equals 180 
into this equation. And now to find D, we just subtract this over here and add this over there. And we plug all of this into our calculator. D equals 121,500. So our height function is now totally known. T equals zero is the moment the retro rockets are fired. So we're being asked, what is the height when T equals zero? And that now becomes um, easy to find. We plug t equals zero in here. We have a height of 121,500 meters. Everything is being measured in meters. And that's it for this example. In a later section, not that much later, we'll look at examples involving things like velocity and acceleration, where acceleration is no longer assumed to be a constant.